Tony Anderson here, Sports Seriously, with one of the best wide receivers in the galaxy right now. Jamar Chase, how are you, brother? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, all right. I had to turn you up in the intro, man. Yeah, I like so now let's talk some football, man. You had some time after the AFC title game to sort of relax, ruminate, and process everything that went on. Yeah. Now that you're a bit removed from it, what's the one thing that stands out to most of you about that game? Uh, the biggest part from that game was just uh, the ending, mm -hmm. honestly, man. That was the main thing I could think about right now, if anything, is the ending on how critical it was. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if we could have went back and, you know, maybe changed the play or anything. You know, that's that's in my head right now, just the ending. They say quarterbacks have to have a short memory. You know, you throw a pick, you got to flush it down the toilet. Yeah. It seems like it goes to wide receivers and everybody else, too. How do you flush that down the toilet and move on to the next season? Yeah, um, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You're an athlete, man. We go through a lot of, of, of things in the football season, and, and the L is probably the worst one. Mm -hmm. And just letting it go is probably the hardest, but the next game is always the biggest game, and that's how you got to think about it. If, you, if you're not ready for the next game mentally, then you know, you're know you going to mess up yourself. How was it? I mean, we all, we all saw that situation that happened between some of your teammates and, and you know, Ose and all of the things that happened with that. Yeah. What was your message to your teammate? How were you able to lift his spirits up? Yeah, um, you know, while all that was going on, we had a, a, a team talk, you know, behind closed doors and cameras, and, you know, just prayed and make sure, you know, everybody's on the same page, show love for one another. Um, I know Joe told the whole team he loves them. You know, I, I, we all said the same thing to one another too. So, um, you know, it's just being around each other every day and just knowing something can happen so fast within a matter of seconds is scary. So. Uh, just taking advantage and, and living in a moment. Will you ever be able to get past that moment or will that sort of haunt you? And I say that thinking about yeah. the, the uh, Seahawks running, instead of running with Marshawn, throwing it and how that one decision could have cost them that Super Bowl. Is that your moment where it'll haunt you forever? Or are you like, I just need to move forward and do what I do? Uh, I don't think it'll haunt me forever. I don't think it'll haunt me forever because I'll, I'll have a lot more opportunities to get back. Um, but you know, my second my second year and going to the Super Bowls a second time again in a row would, would have been, you know, so much better. And you know what I'm saying? It, it it'll come. It'll always come back to me. As you sit back and watch that game, are you just sitting there like, ooh, I wanna just go out there, put my cleats on and play? Like what what do you think would be going through your mind as you're actually watching this game? I don't think I'll be watching this game, first off. Really? Um if I am watching this game, it'll probably be the second half, mm. if I'm being honest. Um, I don't want to sit there and watch that game, man. I'll, I'll probably get mad or something. Really? Yeah, I'd probably just let them guys have the game, you know, watch the little highlights after the game's over, but I don't want to watch the whole game. You're that competitive. Yeah. So that last play, let me ask you, as a team, right, do you guys sort of harp on that final play or do you go back and say, listen, man, there was a lot of other things that we could have done better. How, 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 how is that process for you? Yeah, uh, at the end of the day, like you said, man, it's, it's, it's always more to it. You know what I'm saying? It's always more we can improve on. Uh, it's not just always the last play. It's, it's, it could have been something in the first quarter, first play too. You know what I'm saying? It's, it could have been something very early in the game to where it couldn't have happened later in the game. So that's, that's it. Did you think that Burrowhead thing would have gave the Chiefs so much motivation? It seemed <laughs> like it just went crazy. Uh, I wish we would have went extra more with the borough head. Honestly, really? if you tell me, I should have started tweeting about it, made it something big. Word. Why you say that? Gave me more energy to mm. play. You know what I'm saying? It just made the team more hyper to play. Because uh, I know the Chiefs was already hype um, off the energy. We, they, like, the energy Mike, Mike said from that. So I, we just sort of started going harder on it ourselves. What do y'all think y'all did wrong the most in that game? Uh, it's a lot of wrongs, probably. I, I can't really sit here and say the biggest wrong we had, but um, we had great plays, man, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to get on Joe side about knocking Pat out, out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? That's him making a play. You know what I'm saying? If you're moving that fast, sometimes you can't pull up. Bang, bang. Um, I mean, it's football. It happens sometimes. You know, we didn't get all of our calls. You know what I'm saying? So who really knows how that game would have went if we would have got all our calls? They would have got, you know, their calls the right way, too. So, I mean, it's, it's always ending. How disrespected did you feel? Because I feel like people pretty much assumed it was going to be Chiefs Bills. And y'all had something to say about that. Did you feel disrespected when the narrative was basically counting y'all out? Uh, for the AFC Championship game, yeah, 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 man. That was, we, we, we felt the disrespect in the locker room. Um, 
we said it in media. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think that was the proper way to handle things by the NFL. But, you know, they do what they want to do. They make their money their own way. It's not my purpose. Now, let's talk about the guy who's opposite of you, T. Higgins, or I should say on the other side of you, T. Higgins. Yeah. I talked to Nate Burleson. He said when he played against somebody like Megatron, it helped him so much. They doubled him, got the best corner. He said, okay, I'm going to tear you up. Yeah. You and T. Higgins, yeah, that's a hard combo to stop. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you to have that guy on the other side? Yeah, man, he's a, he's a great receiver, man. Outstanding guy. You know, I, I believe he's going to be one of the best in the league. If not soon, it'll be later than soon. So, man, T is an unridiculous, man. He can run routes. He can go up and get it. He can get, you know what I'm saying, catch the acrobatic catches. You know, even he made some plays this year that I've never seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I think one of his best plays was the Jets play. He didn't even get it. They didn't call it a touchdown. But, you know, they got to fix that rule because he came down and landed on his toes and then fell out of bounds on his heels. You know, at the end of the day, for receivers, we gotta make sure our toes are in bounds. You know what I'm saying? He did that. And you know, it, that's a lot of core strength to be doing that in midair, you know what I'm saying? So T's a very outstanding receiver, man. Is it gonna be difficult? Cause I mean, you're one of the top five wide receivers in the league and T operates, he could pretty much be a number one on somebody else's team. Yeah. Is it gonna be difficult to keep two number ones on the same squad? Um, at the end of the day, you know, I, <laughs> At the end of the day, I really don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? But it would be nice for T to be on the same side with me still as long as we can go. Um, at the end of the day, you know, somebody later down the line going to have to do something for, for us to have this team stay together. You, in my opinion, like I said, I got you as a top five, maybe even top three wide receiver in the NFL. Where do you believe you stand amongst the A.J. Browns, the Tyreek Hills, the Devontae Adams? Where does Jamar Chase put Jamar Chase? I'm going to say I'm the best receiver in the league. You know what I'm saying? If not one of the best, I am the best. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to say that, I'm the best receiver in the AFC then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I 100% I will put myself first. I ain't mad at that. What tandem would you say you and Joe Burrow, you know, so, so represent? You know, I'm from Philly, so when I think of y'all, I just think of just McNabb and T.O. tearing everything <laughs> up just for that first year when they went to the Super Bowl. Who would you say you guys sort of mimic the most? Um... I'm gonna just go with the Devontae and A Rod skit. Mm. Just because just because the way we're moving it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of A Rod and Devontae skits with a lot of back shoulders and me me and Joe got those down packed right now. And you know, a lot of people don't know how to play me because me and Joe do a lot of back shoulders. And, you know, I think that's the main point on how you how a receiver and a quarterback should connect. Now people know you as Uno, that's your nickname, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They also, some call you the gritty king. <laughs> Who's the real gritty king? You or Justin Jefferson? I'm gonna give it to myself, man. Okay. I'm gonna give it to myself. Jets what? already know this. I'll put him on the gritty, but okay. no, so I'm why saying, I let him have it. Why does everybody give it to Justin? Because he came in the league first. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you the real gritty king. Of course, he knows that. Okay, now, dreams and nightmares, I just want to rock. Some say, which oh. one is the Philly anthem of the year? Which one you I got? I mean, if, it's, if we're talking about Philly anthem, it's definitely dreams and nightmares. Okay. For a fact. But what's the hottest song right now? Probably I just want to rock. We saw Jason Kelsey do the dance. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you want to call it the dance, he tried. I've seen it. I, what would you grade him? Probably a two. A two? Yeah. Out of a ten? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, it, it's something. He's on the board. He's something. But it's, if, if you're going now, if you show me, you know, we sitting there, we're not moving. What's the style when you're doing you after you do score it? your touch? Yeah, show me how to give me the little bit of, because I'm a little stiff, but I want to loosen up and I just want to rock. So you got to. Body, yada, yeah. Ooh, with the stuff. I just want to rock. Hey, <laughs> see right there. When you score a touchdown, I need that right there. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.